Hi everyone, Sunny Scunny here. I'm a City Skylines player based in the UK. I like to focus on the relaxed, creative building that balances the aesthetics while exploring the game's mechanics. I've been utilizing the European theme on the Windy Fords map. While it doesn't strictly adhere to any real-world layouts, it does embrace the natural topography. You'll find a combination of both grid and organic development. This is the only city I've built in City Skylines 2. While a new city build might be explored in the future, I like to imagine a well-established city has its own appeal too as I haven't felt the urge to start any others. Hence why you're joining on the journey a little bit later. For now, I'm thoroughly enjoying expanding this one. Now enough for introductions, let's begin. So what I want to do is I want to add more connectivity to this area, but instead of extending the tram line, I want to create a bus rapid transport route. I think this is the best solution for this area because it's not going to be densely populated and this will probably be much more affordable to maintain in the long run. Albeit we are installing some expensive infrastructure, uh, especially around this interchange here, I want to allow the buses to pass through it with as little friction as possible. So I'm constructing this bridge that will go over this quite busy interchange connecting back up onto the Briar Rose Highway here. And then we can continue the bus lanes heading into town and connect it up with our bus station there. Now I want to add 
bus lanes onto the road here. And on this road, all the way up to the bus station. Now we already have a few bus lanes in place here, so it's nice to be able to complete the network and give much more freedom to buses and trams that use these roads. Our rapid bus transport system ends here near the town of Evergreen. We have some bus routes already in this area serving the farms. We also have another one that heads out towards a outside connection here. And we also have a bus route that connects this town to the government complex and the airport. And with this new system, we'll be able to add a new route that connects this area to the main town. Okay, so the snow has melted, but it doesn't seem to stop raining. And I'd like to start by adding another bus depot before we add any new lines. Now I'm just going to use this as a guide and just pull this out. It looks like the snow is coming back. Let's grab the bus depot. Okay, next up we're going to build a park and ride service for this business park. It's in a really good spot because we have the BRT system nearby, so we'll add a bus stop here. But we also have this uh, tram turnaround, which is the end of the line. I'm going to use this space here that we originally cleared. There was quite a large car park here, which we had to move so that we could fit in the new road system and we can put in a smaller car pack as the other one wasn't very well utilized. Okay, now we have that set up, we can add the bus lane to this road. And I'm also going to add extra wide pavements on the uh, bus side where we're going to have our stops. I think we'll probably have our stop here so that if we have any queuing buses, they can queue around the back. And then I'm going to add grass on these sides. We can add the extra wide pavement so that we can have people drive in, not over the grass, into the car park. And another grass perch on here. And why not? Let's just add some trees. Because trees are always nice. Okay, and then we can add our bus shelter. Now, uh, if you've ever noticed, you can, you actually get two different bus shelters. You got um, this style, which is the European, but you can also go down to the North American and you can get a slightly different one. And um, I'd say the North American one is a little bit more modern looking. So I'm gonna use the North American one as this BRT system is supposed to be modern, appealing, comfortable, and I feel like this bus shelter reflects that. I think I'm happy with where that is for now. Now I'm going to add a few details.
Okay, there we go. I've added a few trees and bushes. Not that they can be appreciated in the snow, but once they thaw out and grow up, I think this area will be quite a nice place to wait for your bus and uh, leave your car to charge during the day when you head into the downtown office. Uh, before I set up the lines, I'd like to add a bus stop for this area here. We already have a easy to add bus stop down here and we already have the park and ride service here but we don't really have anything serving this area and we currently have this uh, two-way four-lane highway road and I think what we could do is we could simply let's try to make it um, central with this road here so I'm just going to create a couple of guide roads and then I'm simply going to grab the four lane divided road and I'm going to upgrade it. Let's remove the guide road. And now we have the opportunity to add a couple of bus stops. There we go, I think that looks nice. Um, now I did try to add one of the stylized bridges, but um, I couldn't get them to work in the space. Um, they require a little bit more room. So I think, you know, I'm happy just to kind of accept it with the way this looks. Um, I'd like to make this area a little bit more attractive to walk down. So I think I'm going to add um, a grass verge and trees to at least one side of this road so that people have a nice way to walk down. Now I imagine people will be walking on this side a little bit more to get to the university so I'm going to simply add the grass verge and the trees here and there we go we have this one in place. Now for this BRT system, I would like to have two lines. I want to have a local line and an express line. Now we currently have this line here, the Evergreen Intercity route. So this one starts in the town of Evergreen and then it heads out here. So I'm simply just going to find the bus line tool and then I'm going to grab the Stop. and then I'm going to pull it all the way down to the bus station see if we have any spare bays looks like we're quite full and there's one spare bay right at the end here so let's add it there so let's say that the farthest stop is the stop that goes north and then the closer stop is the stop that goes south so this one goes to the bus station it goes to the park and ride service now we need to add a stop in evergreen so let's go to our bus line tool and let's change the color so we're using the dark green for the express route. Uh, let's use a light, light, very vibrant green for our local route. And let's start the lines.
BRT local. I'd like to use the Glossa order buses. And for now, we'll just reduce the number of buses down to six. Now we can rename this one the BRT Express Intercity. I am also going to use the Glossal Order buses. And there we go, that's the uh, BRT system set up. Um, we'll uh, have lots of space to develop here and add more stops as needed onto the local route and then we can have the express route coming through and uh, moving people a lot quicker.